In today's video, we're diving into one of the most exciting smartphone releases of the year, the Huawei Mate 70 series. These powerful devices have just been unveiled and they come with some serious upgrades. The most significant of them all, the all new Kirin 9020 processor that's driving the performance to new heights. Let's take a closer look at what this chip brings to the table and how it powers the Mate 70 series. With the Mate 70 series now officially launched, it's clear that Huawei has gone all in with cutting edge technology. While the standard Huawei Mate 70 features the Kirin 9010 processor, the high-end models are powered by the latest and greatest, the Kirin 9020. So what makes this chip so special? Let's break it down. The Kirin 9020 is the newest creation in Huawei's semiconductor lineup. It boasts a 12-core architecture that includes two large cores running at 2.5 kgigahertz, six medium cores at 2.15 kgigahertz, and four small cores at 1.6 kgigahertz. But here's where things get really interesting. This chip is equipped with advanced hyperthreading technology. Let me explain what that means. Hyperthreading allows each core to handle more than one thread at a time, which means the chip can perform more tasks simultaneously. So whether you're gaming, multitasking, or running multiple apps in the background, the Kirin 9020 ensures smooth performance with minimal interruptions. Coupled with this is the Maliun GPU 920, running a frequency of 840 megahertz, this GPU is a beast when it comes to handling graphics intensive tasks like gaming and video rendering, providing enhanced visuals and seamless performance. Let's quickly compare the Kirin 9020 with its predecessors to give you a better idea of how much it has evolved. The Kirin 9000s used in previous Huawei devices had cores running at 2.62 kgigahertz for the large cores, 2.15 kgigahertz for the medium cores, and 1.53 kgigahertz for the small cores. The Kirin 9010, which powers the Mate 70's base variant, had slightly lower frequencies, 2.3 gigahertz, 2.18 gigahertz, and 1.55 gigahertz. Now, the Kirin 9020 offers a balanced performance boost with 2.5 gigahertz for the large cores, 2.15 gigahertz for the medium cores, and 1.6 gigahertz for the small cores. If you're streeting, browsing, or editing photos, this chip ensures a smooth and lag-free experience. Overall, the Huawei Mate 70 series is shaping up to be one of the most powerful smartphones of the year, thanks to its impressive Kirin 9020 processor. With its advanced hyper-threading capabilities and powerful GPU, the Mate 70 offers a truly future-proof experience. Whether you're into gaming or simply want a phone that can keep up with your daily tasks, this device has you covered. So what do you think of the Huawei Mate 70 series and the new Kirin 9020 chipset? Are you excited about the performance boost? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our latest tech updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.